Today we're doing a visual presentation made by me, Jose Martinez from Arts 1301-61400. Today we're going to talk about an American painter named Frederick Edwin Church, born in Mayfort, 1826, Hartford, Connecticut, died in April 7th, 1900, New York City, New York. Today we're talking about the icebergs by Frederick Irwin Church, a painting found virtually in Dallas Museum of Art. Some of the art elements found in the icebergs are shown to be calm and warm, having both actual and implied lines, including some of the art elements such as ambient light, value, visual texture, volume, and atmospheric perspective. All are included in the icebergs, just to name a few. Now, based on the Dallas Museum's of Art description box, it is known that oil and canvas were the used materials and techniques in the icebergs, including us a perspective. Perspective, it was considered a wet media based on its liquid form, since it is a landscape painting made by Frederick. As stated in the general description of Dallas Museum of Art, a very interesting quote was said, venture over the Delhi waters and closely study the forms and colors of icebergs in the Arctic landscape. And an important quote that we will talk about in the history of the iceberg coming soon. Now, the history of the icebergs is shown as the momentum painting was created in first exhibit in 1861, but two years later was changed by church that modified it to include a broken ship mast in the foreground as a reminder of its powerless and of men and specifically Franklin and his crew in the face of the vast on his particular Arctic landscape. Now, most of Franklin's history, it is shown that he went to the Northwest Passage in Arctic route connecting the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean, which drove many artists to capture its landscape of its icebergs. However, it was a very dangerous route that many ships had not successfully gone and came back from. So Frederick and his crewmen left England to go to this location. Now Frederick and his crewmen sadly did not make it after he did not make it back from his um, exploration in time. So many of the British and American ships were sent, in total 20 of them, to find Frederick and his crewmen. However, they found both ships to be stuck and synced in the middle of the ice. In which, that's why you can see that in two years, he changed, Church changed it in two years and added a broken ship into the bottom of the painting. It's said in the quote to represent his and his man's um, suffering. So after they went, they found out that they were lead poisoned since the food was not taken care of properly. Uh, many of these men were weak and died based on capitalism since most of them were starving and they had no other options. Now, the location, as I said before, was the Norwest Passage, an Arctic maritime route connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean that drove European exploration of the North for hundreds of years. Artists were similarly and above creative responsibly paintings that represented a sunlight view of the Arctic that was gradually crumbled or more accurately melted over the past century as global warming wreaks havoc on the icy seas. So, many of these artists really wanted to capture the landscape just like Franklin and were as some might have been successful Franklin was one of the ones that did not make it now I want to compare Franklin's iceberg painting to Ansel's Adams clearing the winter storm Jocelyn National Park California 1944 United States now to compare this painting I found it in a textbook on page 393, chapter 13, under section named The Land. We can see 
they're both classified as artworks that represent the land. However, in clearing the winter storm, the art elements and principles are very similar and so we start talking about colors. It is an achromatic value scale while also adding a value, a shade, and cool color. Much different compared to the iceberg who have a more warm and bright colors. Now that's the end of my presentation. Here are some of the documents that I use in MLA format. Museum of Art, that is the website where I found the painting virtually and was able to learn a little bit more about the painting and Franklin. However, art book is where I found the painting of Ansel Adams clearing the winter storm to be able to compare it to icebergs. And art store is a website where you can find a little bit more history about the icebergs and what happened to Franklin and his crewmen, which I did use in this presentation. Thank you very much.